Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install PCM on Linux. So if you are on Arc Linux or Manjaro or any distro that uses AOR, you just got to type PCM, click and install basically. But if you're on Pop! OS, Ubuntu, Debian or any Debian uh, based distro, you're out of luck. You got to compile ma manually, which well, it takes a little bit of time, but it's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that today. So first of all, you got to download PCM, of course, which is right there. And uh, get the dependencies, which you can see on GitHub for on the GitHub page for PCM. So it would be STL2, it would be the WX widgets 3.x and OpenAL, which I'm not going to show on video because that would take like 20 minutes just to install the dependencies. But it's pretty straightforward and uh, the video description is going to have a link to each one and how to install them. So yeah, let's move on. So let's let's assume that at this point you already downloaded PCM and did the whole extraction to a folder, which in my case I used my documents as the location for PCM. Switch to that folder already with the CD command, of course. And now we're just gonna run the script itself to make the thing work. So basically you type dot and slash and configure my microphone screwing the keyboard and i'm using a layout over a layout it's confusing because it's a german keyboard and i'm using an american layout so the keys don't really match then i gotta you know get on that i haven't used this laptop in a while so my hands are not my muscle, me muscle memory is not used to it at all anymore because i could before I just type it out looking at it. So we're gonna configure it. It's gonna run. And it's basically ready to go. So you just gotta go and type in make hit enter and now wait. That's gonna take quite a lot of time. Get ready. I mean it's compiling after all. I mean it's not really that long of a time. I recommend in this meantime to get the the ROM files, which I sadly cannot link you guys to the ROM files, nor can I show you guys where to get them because they some of them are still under a copyright because you know even though they're twenty years old, copyright's not. Uh, you know it hasn't been the century yet, so it's not free domain, not yet. But you just gotta type PCM ROM on Google and it's literally the first result. It's a GitHub page. You just download it, basically. I sadly cannot link you guys to that, but it's very easy to find, like honestly. Okay, it is ready. We're good to go. So you gotta launch it for the first time, which is it's gonna throw an error message because of the ROM files, but it is needed. You gotta run it once so that it makes the folder to home so you go pcm i'm just gonna what the hell oh wait what the hell pcm not found excuse me what Telling me that this didn't work and it just wasted time. No, this cannot be true. This is really strange. Wait up a second. Oh, oh my God, I'm actually dumb, I'm sorry. I'm just dumb, because on, on, on ARC, it's just PCM, you just type down. Wait. So. Downloads went over to CD. Um. 
Now it should work. Oh, there you go. They have it. No arms present. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a little mistake. I'm really, really sorry for that. I got lost for a second because what the hell? <laughs> On our kids, just BCM, it just works. It's the first time I'm using uh, Pop OS, by the way. You guys probably fear at this point that was shameful. But there you go. We got PCM, we got the error message, and now the folder has been created. So we can finally get the uh, ROMs master file here, which is right there. Select everything. Just about everything, like so. Yay. And then you hit extract. Here we have the ROMs folder. You copy that. You go over to the root folder. You're going to see a folder named .pcm here you have another realms folder so you just paste that realms folder in there and you merge them together and now that they are merged you basically just run pcm again and just like that you have your pcm configuration manager working so should, should show that it's actually working let's make a test virtual machine so let's call it uh, test like okay. yeah. it's going to be a let's see it's going to be it's f1 it's made of 486 wow this is very slow with the trackpad let me show all this bunch of machines and of course well seems like it's going to be a lot one then of a Pentium 2, nah, it's a little too fast for this machine, actually. Don't really want to push it that much. Better, better use my mouse. Oh, yeah, that's much faster. There you go. This isn't trackpad. Right, so let's take uh, Lord 496. Uh, DX475, there you have it. Memory, that's a lot of memory. We don't need that. Let's try 16. Graphics card, we could go with a, but uh, saying ET4000, that's a Kazan Hangumadang, but yeah, same stuff. Honestly, like basically the same thing. So we hit OK, you know, hit play, Let's see if the machine's working. And there you go. As you can see, PC I'm running on Linux just fine. So you finally installed. PCM on Linux. So there's no hard disk. Of course, it's not going to boot into anything. But that's pretty much how you install PCM v17 on Linux on any Debian based distro. If you guys have had fun, hope you've also managed to install. And if you didn't, uh, feel free to shoot questions. In the comment section down below and if you did congrats now have fun with your og machines it's a lot of fun it really is y'all have a great one bye bye